Hi, buongiorno. Good morning. The morning of Christmas Eve. I hope everybody is merry. Seasons greetings. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Ramadan, whatever it is, whatever walk of life you come from, we respect it. And for the rest of us, there's a merry festivus, right? Salute, good morning. It's your boy, Big Rich. Ruckus Radio, podcast, Team Ruckus, Mob Story, Season 2. You already know how we do. Now, it feels like a Friday morning, but it's Tuesday morning. Why does it feel like a Friday morning? Because I'm about to go get my hair cut. Tonight will be the 12th and last night of the 12 nights of Ruckus. So salute to everybody that was checking in every night. Thank you for the donations. Tonight will be a blast. But this morning, we have to conduct some business. Gentlemen, wipe your feet on the rug. Blow some smoke in the atmosphere. Uh, Delicious, as I say. It's called Blue Night, and it's just scrumptious. (laughs) All right. (coughs) Jesus. Delicious. All right. As they say, let's get to business. Of course, today's show is sponsored by Justice Tech Pros. Go check them out. This article is from Scott Bernstein of the Gangster Report. Salute to you, sir. We throw respect on your name and then sprinkle a little more on the article. The Corner Sandwich Shop Murders. Fallout from Sammy Marcello's 73 slaying in Chicago was swift. A little history lesson, all right? The aftermath of the unsanctioned murders of the Chicago Mafia figure Sammy, Sammy Eyes, Marcello, and his bodyguard Joseph Big Joe Grisafe sent blood-soaked ripples through a crew of mob misfits who thought they could bump off a respected member of the outfit's Cicero regime and get away with it. They badly miscalculated their decision and met an equally brutal end themselves. Marcelo, 57, and Grisafi, 36, were murdered on November 24, 1973 by a Greek gambler and market owner named Sam Rontis, who was seeking to avoid having to pay off a juice loan. Rontis and his two accomplices were slain in retaliation, with Marcelo's oldest son rumored to have made his bones in the hits, according to the Chicago Crime Commission documents, say allegedly. The son, James, Jimmy the Man, Marcello, would go on to become the boss of the whole outfit and is doing life behind the bars for his role in the epic family secrets case that landed in the mid-2000s. Jimmy Marcello, 72, and his half-brother, Michael Big Mikey Marcello, 68, both went down in the case that grabbed nationwide headlines and solved almost a dozen gangland slayings. Mickey Marcello did six years in prison after pleading guilty to racketeering charges. He was indicted earlier this week on stealing $45,000 of Social Security money. Per FBI records, the Marcello's father, Sammy Marcello, worked as a loan shark in the outfit Cicero crew directly under the Chicago mob boss, Joseph Jovi Doves Ayupa. One of the Marcello's customers was Sam Rantis, the owner of the corner sandwich shop at the corner of Taylor and Western Rantis, Greek in heritage, sometimes went by the street handle Sammy Paper. According to police informants, Scraciad, Rantis ran bookmaking and bolita operations out of the shop, but also liked to gamble himself and was deeply involved in the counterfeiting business. Some investigators speculated he was possibly dabbling in the narcotics trade. What is known is this. When he got into debt, he borrowed money from Sammy Marcello. When Marcello was when Marcello and his hulking six foot five, two hundred and seventy-five pound bodyguard Big Joe Grisafi came to collect their weekly payments the Saturday after Thanksgiving back in 1973. Rantis shot both of them dead at point blank rage and then stored the bodies in the walk in freezer while he called for help from a couple of knock around guys he did business with Billy Cazone and Jimmy Irwin. They chopped Grisafi's legs off and stuffed him and Marcello into 55 gallon drums. Grisafe's legs were placed in a box Rantis received wholesale baby root candy bar shipments in. 
The bodies weren't discovered in the back of the sandwich shop's freezer until the next summer. The Marcello family thought the FBI had arrested Patriarch Sammy Eyes on Saturday afternoon. They never came home, but on December 5th, the family was informed that neither Sammy Marcello nor Joe Grisafi were ever taken into custody. Marcello's car was towed from in front of the corner sandwich shop, tipping the outfit as to where they had made their final stop. Stop right there. If you're going to chop up some bodies, you know, if that's what you're going to do, I'm not saying that's what I'm into, but I'm just saying if somebody's going to do that, it would be in your best interest to get rid of the car too, man. The 43-year-old Rontis was killed two days later on December 7th. His body was found in February 1974 in the trunk of his own vehicle in the long-term parking section of, of O'Hara Airport. Rontis' throat had been cut and had been stabbed several times in the chest. Next came retribution for his accomplices, Cazone and Irwin. Billy Cazone popped up dead on February 26, 1974, two days after Rantis' body is discovered, shot in the head in the basket of his seat. Shot in the head in the back seat of his car. Jimmy Irwin lasted two more years before he was gunned down on May 1, 1976 on North Halstead. Jimmy Marcello's name surfaced as a suspect. Jimmy Marcello's name surfaced as a suspect in all three murders that avenged his dad's grisly death. The Sister Rose Cruz notorious Wild Bunch enforcement team was also believed to have participated in the planning and carrying out of the execution. Marcello was made by his dad's mob mentor, Joey Ayupa, in a 1983 ceremony per court filings and was the protege of one of Ayupa's successors as outfit Don Sam Wings Carlisi. Ayupa and Carlisi gave him responsibility for the historic Cicero's Cruz bookmaking and loan sharking operations prior to him becoming a Don himself. Carlisi and Marcello were nailed together in a 1992 racketeering indictment. Carlisi died in prison of a heart attack. Marcello ruled the Chicago mob as boss of the outfit in the first half of the 2000s. When the family secrets case landed in April 2005, Marcello was charged with more racketeering counts, the 1981 murder of outfit soldier Nicky D'Andrea, and the 1986 Pilotro brothers' double homicide. Tony DeAnne Spilotro was the Chicago's mob crew chief in Las Vegas and angered the outfit hierarchy with his attention-garnering antics out west in his capacity overseeing the group's interest in the casino industry. Spilotro and his brother Michael were driven by Jimmy Marcello to their murders at the residence located in Chicago's Bensonville neighborhood. The famous gangland hit was recreated in the 1995 film Casino starring Oscar winner Joe Pesci as a diminutive yet explosive Spilotro. We did stories on Spilotro. We did stories on the Wild Bunch. And you see, I was just telling Shada the other day, the stories are never ending. And eventually, me and Shada are going to make it in a way where everything connects to each other. Right now, it's random. But for those that pay attention to the mob stories, you know the connections are being slowly made. If you pay attention like I did, I'm like, oh, we did that story. Oh, we did a story on Spilotro Brothers. So another great article. Salute to Scott Bernstein of the Gangster Report. Please go check out that website. Subscribe to it. You let them know that uh, Ruckus Radio sent you if, you if you never heard of it. You know what I'm saying? This is what we do. We, we sprinkle respect on people's names. Salute, everybody. Have a great holiday, all right? Um, we will talk very soon. Mob Story, Season 2, Team Ruckus.